Peace be with you. My name is Madeline Rabouche, and I'm a priest in the Episcopal Church. I come to you today trying to bring some words of comfort, knowing how difficult it can be to be in the hospital. I spent a year as a chaplain resident at Duke University Hospital, working with patients and families as they experienced all kinds of grief and sorrow, as well as joys and healing. I know how difficult it can be if you're a patient lying there powerless and not knowing what's going to happen next. I also know how hard it is to be a family member at the bedside of someone you love, waiting to see what happens and when you might get to go home. In our Gospels, the book of Matthew tells the story of the angel appearing to Joseph. He's intended to marry Mary, who is with child, and he's questioning how this could have happened. But the angel appears to him and tells him that the child will be named Emmanuel, which means Jesus, God with us. We have a God who came into this world to be near to us, to be close. So while we can't always explain why we suffer, why we're in pain, or why we ended up in the hospital, why we're sick, Sometimes those things can teach us things and have meaning, but other times they're so senseless. But what we can know is that no matter what, God is with us. I want to share with you a prayer from the Episcopal tradition. This is our Book of Common Prayer, which guides so much of our liturgy, the way that we pray, the way that we worship. And in this book, there are prayers for use by a sick person. This is one of my favorite ones. This is a prayer for in the morning. This is another day, O Lord. I know not what it will bring forth, but make me ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. If I am to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lie low, help me to do it patiently. And if I am to do nothing, let me do it gallantly. Make these words more than words, and give me the Spirit of Jesus. Amen.